Hello, I'm David Swanson and this is MathsWithDavid.com. Today we're going to be looking at an M1 question uh, using calculus with displacement, speed and acceleration. The, so that's a question, it's specifically the June 2016 question 6 from the Cambridge International A-Levels Mechanics 1 paper. We'll start by reading through the question. A particle P moves in a straight line. It starts at point O on the line, and at time t seconds after leaving O, it has a velocity v meters per second, where v equals 6t squared minus 30t plus 24. 1. Find the set of values of t for which the acceleration of the particle is negative. 2. Find the distance between the two positions at which p is at instantaneous rest. And 3. Find the two positive values of t at which p passes through O. So for the first part we want to find those values of t for which the acceleration is negative. So we've been given velocity, we're going to have to differentiate that equation to get uh, acceleration. So if we differentiate we get a is equal to 12t minus 30. And in order for the acceleration to be negative we need that to be negative. So we need our 12t to be less than 30. For that to be the case, we can divide both sides of our inequality by 12, and so we're going to have t is less than 30 over 12, or t is less than 2.5. Or if you want to put that in set notation, t belongs to closed bracket 0 interval to open brackets 2.5. So the second part of the question, find the distance between the two positions at which p is at instantaneous rest. So we're definitely going to need a, a distance equation here from our velocity equation. So we're going to need to integrate. We're told that v is 6t squared minus 3t plus 24. So if we go ahead and integrate, we get s is 6t cubed over 3 minus 30t squared over 2 plus 24t plus c. And we know that at the, at the time equals 0, the position is equal to 0. s0 zero equals 0. So if we put our t equal to 0, all our terms except for our c become 0, and we get 0 equals c. So we know that the constant is 0 in this case. So we have s is equal to 2t cubed minus 15t squared plus 24t. So we've got an equation of s in terms of t. We just need to find out what t is. So we're told these are the points where it's an instantaneous rest. So v equals 0. So 6t squared minus 30t plus 24 equals 0. Let's divide that through by 6, both sides, to make it a bit simpler to deal with. And we have t squared minus 5t plus 4 equals 0. Now that happily factorises because uh, minus 1 times minus 4 is 4, and minus 1 plus minus 4 is minus 5. So we've got t minus 4 times t minus 1 is 0. So the two times it's at rest are t equals 1 and t equals 4. So in order to find the distance travelled between those two times, we just need to substitute 4 into our distance equation and substitute 1 into our distance equation and take the difference. So if we substitute 4 in, we get 2 times by 64 minus 15 times by 16 plus 24 times by 4, which is equal to minus 16. Remember, this is displacement, so that's like 16 to the left. And then if we substitute our 1 in, we get 2 minus 15 plus 24, which is equal to 11. Now the distance between minus 16 and 11, minus 16 minus 11, is min well, minus 27. We've got an absolute distance of 27 metres. So then the third part of the question, we were asked to find the two positive values of t at which p passes through O. So we're going to use our, dis our displacement equation again that we got. And we're going to say, when is this equal to 0? So when does s equal 0? That's when 2t cubed minus 15t squared plus 24t equals 0. So we need to solve this quadratic equation. We can, we can factor out the t to give t times by 2t squared minus 15t plus 24 equals 0. So we've got three solutions. We've got t equals 0 and the two solutions to the quadratic. To solve the quadratic, we can use the formula. It's not so easy to factorise this one. So we get t is equal to 15 plus minus the square root of 225 
minus 4ac, which is 4 times 2 times 24, which is 192, all divided by 4. So that's 15 plus minus the square root of 33 over 4, which is about equal to 15 plus minus 5.745 over 4, which gives us the 2 times 2.314 and 5.186. And we give the answers using the, com the Cambridge Convention to three significant figures to get t equals 2.31 seconds or 5.19 seconds. Now if we look at the mark scheme, in the first part we got a method mark for differentiating our velocity equation and an accuracy mark for getting the correct interval from 0 to 2.5 seconds. In the second part we got a method mark for integrating our equation. We got a method mark for factorising to find the, the roots uh, t equals 1 and t equals 4. We got a method mark for putting in the, the limits uh, 4 and 1 into our distance equation. Uh, and then an accuracy mark for getting 27 metres. And then in the third part, we got a method mark for putting our distance equation equal to zero, a method mark for using our quadratic formula, and an accuracy mark for getting correctly the two times 2.31 seconds of 5.19 seconds. In the examiner's report, there were three comments of interest. Uh, the first comment is that some got the value 2.5 in the first part, but wrote down the inequality wrong. So be careful when you're dealing with inequalities. Remember, we must never divide by a negative, and ideally it's best to add and subtract rather than multiplying and dividing. It makes life easier for us. In the second part, some were confused by the negative displacement, and so took the difference incorrectly. Uh, we just have to be careful here. If we're doing minus and minus, obviously that's a, that's a plus. Uh, and then in the third part, some were confused by the fact that there was a cubic there and weren't sure about how to solve it. So because every term had t in it, you could just factor out that term of t. And essentially what you had to solve was a quadratic and not a cubic. So you could use the quadratic formula. Well, I hope that's been useful. We'll put a link at the end to other Mechanics One work solutions and a link to allow you to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get updated on any new videos that are done. Any questions or comments that you have, please feel free to put them below and thank you for your attention.